Hi, this is John Link with Apache Village RV Center. Wanted to send you a quick reminder. On May 13th, we're going to have our open house. That's going to be our ride along day. So what we're going to do is have a truck set up here, sway control. If you are a new customer looking to test drive, let's say a small travel trailer or an introductory level size fifth wheel or even a Class C or a Class A motorhome, make sure you show up on May 13th. We'll be ready to take you on a test drive with our team. So if you've never towed something or driven an RV before, this will be your opportunity to get behind the wheel and experience that with one of our professionals here. We'll see you on May 13th. All right, here we are. This is John Link at Apache Village RV Center. We have our new customers here. We have Steph and Jack getting ready to pick up their first RV. We have a little Jayco 24BHJ Feather here, all hitched up, ready to go. We're gonna walk you through the process of taking a new camper, hitching it up, going through all the safety procedures, checking your lights, checking your brakes, having everything set up before you're gonna take, up, take off on your journey. So Adam, our salesperson's here behind the wheel. He's gonna go ahead and pull on up. And we're going to walk you through this process together. Look at this beautiful rig. All right, we're ready to walk these new customers through the process of hitching up and the safety procedures that you need to follow. Check your camper every time before you take off on your first journey. So Adam here is going to walk us through that process. We'll let him get after it. All right, guys. So the first thing we want to do, grab some blocks. We're going to put them underneath of our tongue jack. All right. All right. Then on all your Jayco's, you're going to have an adjustable foot that's on the bottom of your tongue jack. So we're going to pull this pin. We're going to slide this down, and then we're going to put the pin back in through there. The reason we're doing this is when we take these bars off, the higher you get the front end of the camper, it is the easier it is it's going to be to take these bars off because these bars take all of our tongue weight off and distribute it through the whole camper and the trunk. Okay. So that way we're not riding down the road looking like this. We're riding down the road nice and level and safe for you guys. So we'll do that. Put those blocks there. Then I'm going to run back here real quick. I'm going to put a block by the wheel. Always okay. chalk your wheels. That way your camper, when we disconnect it, it can't roll anywhere. It ain't rolling away on us. It's not rolling away. Got the wheels blocked. So now you're gonna leave your coupler locked. You're gonna take your tongue jack, you're gonna take this, we're gonna run this up. So right now we're taking the tongue jack, it's gonna go down to the ground and it's gonna raise the back end of the truck up and the front end of the trailer. Up. And what it's gonna do is take all this tongue weight that's on these bars and it's gonna put onto this tongue jack here for us. Okay. Don't be in a hurry. Slow. All right. So the wife's out here doing this, get her an umbrella because it's raining. Understood. Understood. So now you heard the motor engage. Now we're lifting up the back end of the truck and the front end of the trailer. And again, the higher you get the front end of the camper, the easier it is it's going to be to take these bars off and put them back on. Once we get up to a certain point, these bars are going to start to become loose. Like Just that? like that. Alright. Alright, so now we have this thing here. It's a cheater bar. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take this. I'll come on that side over here. We're going to take this bar. We're going to put it on here like so. Alright. Okay. When we do that, you're going to hold it. Pull your pin out of your clamp. Pull that. Set it here. Stand to the side. Grab this and lower this down. When you do that, it's going to unhook from the chain. Alright. Then from there, what I'll always do, I'll put this back up, then take my pin, put it back to my bracket. That way I know where it's at. Do all those the time. brackets stay there? They stay there all the time. So we've got them mounted to where they're going to stay there. They're bolted into place. You'll never have to move those or anything like that. Okay. All right. So then now to take these bars off, you're going to take this bar, you're going to swing it all the way around to the front, and it slides right out of there. There's a pin that's in the head of that, which goes into that groove. As okay. you notice, it's greasy. Right put some grease on this okay. it's going to keep it from making all that knockety noise going down the road all right so then from there putting these back on we're going to do it a little different we're not going to swing it all the way around the front we're actually going to take this have it towards the back we're going to take this put it inside here lift up and slam it into place there's a pin that's inside here that's going to go into that groove that holds this bar into place okay all right then we would do the same thing on the other side for taking that stuff off. And there's a, another bar over there. Yep, that's your sway control. 
what that's going to do is when we're going down the highway it's going to help eliminate that swaying side to side on our camper going down the road get a little windy day like we are today it's going to want to go around you because what happens in a sway is a trailer is going too fast for the vehicle and wants to go around you starts kind of like fish tailing on you exactly right so what happens is there's two brake pads on here with the friction plate and it's all done off of this bar here so we're going to tighten this up and i'll get to that here in one second so that's what's going to keep that and once it starts swaying a little bit those brake pads are going to engage and it's going to straighten this back up for us okay all right so a few things with your sway control it's metal it's going to rest don't paint it okay it is a brake pad all right so you don't necessarily want to lube it up or anything either no lubrication no okay. sir not at all it's going to make noises it's metal on metal so it's no big deal then the most important thing is when we're backing up we want to take this off once you're getting ready to jackknife it into the parking spot your storage area the driveway you want to take this off because what happens is this will collapse to here once it collapses there you're gonna have this much room about in between the truck and trailer that's a lot of space for us when we're trying to get into a tight spot so that happens all of a sudden this ball back here can bend this one can bend or this plate right here will bend damage your bumper damage your bumper right. yes sir so to take that off we're gonna take this bar we're gonna take this and we're gonna go counterclockwise then you're gonna have two pins that are on here holding it in place so you got this pin here pull that one up pull that one off and then it comes off like that okay then what we'll do from there throw our pins back in place here so that we don't lose them couple things you can do you can put this into the bed of the truck or you can put it in your front storage compartment okay whichever way is best for you guys wherever you want to store it you're going to get your own little uh your own system your own system and... exactly right so we'll go from there we'll just fill it back here in the bed of the truck for now that way it's there all right we're going to take this bar off on this side would you like to do that yeah so hold it on there then pull this pin yes sir slowly lower it down just like that so put the pin back in. Yep. Just like that. And if you want to try to take that bar off, swing it all the way around to the front. It slides right out. That's pretty easy. It is, it's really easy. And once you start doing it a few times, it's going to be really simple. You're going to have this all finished in about, you know, three, four minutes. And then to put it back in, yep. grab it and slam it in there. You're not going to hurt it. It's all steel. All right. Before we start hooking it back up, what you'll want to do is want to lower this back down. Now that we're lowering it down, we're going to take all the pressure off of the coupler and I'm going to unlock it. So I'll get there, push. I'm going to push down, slide that back. As soon as you do that, that's unlocked from the ball. Okay. Now you can take your up, raise this back up. You're going to bring the whole front end of the camper back up and it's going to start disconnecting itself from the ball. Now that we're high enough, take the cord, unplug from our truck, undo our safety chains down in the bottom. Now we can pull the truck forward, put our jacks down, start camping. Gotcha. Easy enough. All right. Hooking it back up, just everything in reverse though. So what we'll do, we we'll back it up, make sure your coupler's unlocked, slide that back like so. We're gonna take this one and run this back down. So once you start seeing the back of the truck go down a little bit, that's enough there. Take your coupler, slide that back forward, it's locked back into place. Now again, we're gonna raise this back up to get all the pressure off of this tongue and put it onto the tongue jack. And the link that we go on today is going to be the same link that we go on every single time unless that you're camping and all of a sudden you're, or you're on your buddy's property and you got the bed of the truck filled up with wood kids bikes all that stuff we'll be able to adjust that chain to adjust the pressure on those bars okay so we're on the third link so what we'll do is we're going to take this and then pull your pin there grab your bar you're going to take this guy you're going to count down three so you got one two third one leave these two hanging freely so you always want to have this go straight up and down okay you lower it down lift it up 
hook it there. Now, if you can't get that onto the third link there, it might be too tight, too much. That, this might not be high enough. Oh. It might still have all that pressure onto the back of the truck. So then all you do from there, it just raises up. And it lets the slack off, makes it easier. Correct. So now lift that up, hold that into place, put your pin through there. Now you're ready to go. Then what we'll do, I'm tall enough to do this, <laughs> grab our sway bar, and we'll put our sway control on. All right. There is a right, wa w ugh, right way and a wrong way to put this on, all right? So you got two colors on your sway bar. You got silver and black. Okay. You got two different color balls that are here, silver and black. Okay. Color to color. Don't put it on backwards because it will go like this. It will go on there, but then this isn't going to do its job. Mm -hmm. So you always have the writing facing out towards you. Okay. So what we'll do is take this, put it on silver on silver, put your pin through. I'm going to loosen this up just a little bit, slide this back. Take our pin, we're gonna go straight down with it. If I can see. All right? Now, that's on there, but it's not ready to go. This bar here is gonna be all about the tension that these brake pads are gonna put onto this friction plate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go finger tighten, and then we're gonna go one more turn, snug it up. Always have this bar facing to the back. Okay. So make, it doesn't get hooked on anything or? That, your bumper. Bumper. Okay. You make a sharp right hand turn, all of a sudden it goes right into the bumper and you got your nice beautiful little dent there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't want that. It's going to be loose like this because you are putting essentially a square over a circle. That's okay. These pins hold it into place and then this is the main bar that we're worried about for the pressure on that friction plate. Then from there, we're going to take our clip, our safety chains, hook them up. You got your breakaway cable. What this is for is if for some odd reason this whole system failed, this cord is attached to a black box that's on the other side. It'll pull that plunger. In this little box? That little black box that's not on the bottom of the frame. Yes, okay. sir. It'll pull that plunger, closes a, a circuit, and then it puts, applies the trailer brakes. So it'll lock the brakes up? It'll lock your brakes up so that way if it does fail, that it's going to slow the camper down a lot quicker. Okay. All right. At that point in time, we're worried about you and the family. So we gotta make sure you guys are okay as well. Then we're gonna take this safety chain, hook it on this side over here. I'm gonna hop over real quick and I'll put this bar on. May I borrow that bar jack? Thank you, sir. And again, same link. Hey -o. That tells you that you didn't have your bar in there all the way. So we'll take that, slide that back into place, and then we're going to do the same link on this side. So we went three on that side over there, we're going to go three on this side. One thing I'll always recommend to the guys, grab some of the Weiss fingernail polish, paint that link. That way you know it's the link that you're going to go on every time. So again, if you're noticing you're throwing a bunch of stuff in the bed of the truck and it starts sagging the back of the truck, Take this to the next link. Go to the fourth link. It's not going to hurt anything. It's going to take, again, more pressure to put it onto those bars, which distributes it through the whole camper. Okay. All right. From there, we're going to hit the button. We're going to lower the tongue jack back down. Go ahead, Steph. And then, you want to hit the button? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to plug that in the back of your truck. That's going to go in that top one. Okay. Yep, keep going. What we're going to do is we'll end up taking that black foot. We're going to put it all the way back up into the tongue jack. And then you just want to make sure your tongue jack foot is above the bars here. Oh, okay. That way it can't get drunk on anything. If something does is out on the road, we're not going to pick up any debris or anything there. That'll be good there. Good? Yep. Perfect. Jack, go ahead and pull that pin out there. Let's take that foot and let's slide that back up into the tongue jam. 
Perfect. All right, a couple of things we're going to check before we go actually getting in the truck and leave it. Okay. First thing we want to make sure our cord is plugged in here. So this is going to run all of our lights. It's going to apply our trailer brakes for us when we're going down the road. Then we're going to check our bars. Make sure our clips are in the place on both bars. All right. Check these clips on our sway control. Make sure that they're both into place. Check our safety chains. Most importantly, this pin that's down here is actually what holds the hitch into place into the truck. Oh, okay. So you got a big pin that's there. So you make sure that that's in place and the clip is through it. Got our coupler locked. I will recommend grabbing a little bolt or even a padlock. Some people want the padlock just for the added security. Or I'll grab a bolt, I'll put it through there, and that way it's not going to allow this to unlock and slide back on you. Oh yeah, okay. You, you notice it unlocked really right. easy there. It's not going to do that on you going down the road because you have to you know do a real big bounce but we're gonna put a lock through there so that can't do that at all okay. all right cool. then what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna have you do me a favor I'm gonna have you get in your truck okay I'm gonna have you turn on your headlights and I'm gonna have you turn on your left turn well Steffi and I we're gonna go to the back of the camper we're gonna check, check the headlights the and check the left turn okay. yep So Stephanie, if you want, you want to stand over here. That way you can see Jack in the mirror. Okay. So say, Jack, turn on the headlights. Headlights. All right, tell him left turn. Left turn. Good. Say right turn. Right turn. Good. Say now brakes. Brakes. All right. Good. So then what you want to do back here is you want to make sure all your running lights on the tail lights are on and then all, all your marker lights. Yep. Okay. Always do one down the side as well. So you have the one back here in the back and the one in the front. We'll check that up front and then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. That way you know that all your lights are working correctly for you guys going down the road. Because on Jayco's, the one cool thing with them is all your side marker lights will turn on when you turn your blinker on. Okay. So not only will you have this bottom marker light blinking, all these oh, side will markers turn. will blink, but then also the top inner light will blink. Okay. okay. The reason they do that is if some car is directly behind you, the car behind them can't see you guys stopping mm -hmm. or turning. So now they do those top marker lights so that way people behind the car that's behind you, they can see you guys, oh hey, they're making a left-hand turn, I need to slow down. So that way it's just it's a much safer way for everybody to travel. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna check all of our compartments to make sure that everything's closed up, locked down tight, before we hit the road we got our blocks in here from up front from our tongue jack got our power cord in here cheater bars there so now we're going to take this go ahead and pull that closed your salesman didn't give you the keys to the camper so <laughs> here we go take that and we'll lock that into place all right let's do a full circle around the whole outside i'm a firm believer in touching things because that's my ocd kicking in this is the back of your refrigerator. We we'll make sure that's nice and closed. Outside shower, it's all closed up there. Check your back door. Make sure it doesn't want to pop open on us. And then now we'll check our outside kitchen. All locked door. That handle on the door can go one of two ways. I'm a firm believer of having it go forward because if for some odd reason we didn't close this door 100% of It'll the keep way. It closed. <laughs> Keep it closed. Okay. All right. And then you don't want it this way, going down the road, because no. you'll pick up those <laughs> unwanted hitchhikers. <laughs> Go ahead and close that one. Just like that. Perfect. All right. Last but not least, let's go over the brake controller in your truck. That way we can get those all set up for you guys. And that way it's nice and uh, the brake safe. brake system? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So now brake controller. On your truck here, it shows you right up here on the dash. It says gain 5.5. Okay. That's a good starting point for you. There's no right or wrong way to set it right now. So if you notice on there, over there, you got your plus and minus. That's going to be your gain on how much your brakes actually grab. So 
you're going up to a stop sign off the highway and you feel the trailer's pushing you forward it's like why aren't the brakes working take that plus sign and turn it up a little bit go up to maybe six maybe six and a half it's not going to hurt it again it's a feel thing on how you want to feel stopping you don't want to stop the trailer and you don't want the trailer stopping you you want to feel like you're just putting your foot on the truck brakes and stopping as one so that's how you would do it if it feels like it's pushing you forward if you go up to another stop sign off the highway and you feel that the trailer's pulling you back they're grabbing too much take some of that power take a little bit off yep take a little bit of off again there's no right or wrong way to set this your feeling might be at four Steph's might be at five it might be at six we don't know until she gets in here and she starts driving and whatever she feels comfortable with okay she might want a little bit more braking and that's you know what perfectly fine she's comfortable that's all we ask for all right then there's that little bitty gauge that's right above that so when you squeeze that if you notice it goes all the way over but then also on your dashboard up here it shows you the gain what that is that's a manual override for your trailer brakes so say we're going down a big steep hill and your trailer starts swaying on you a little bit and you're like why well, is my sway control working it is working it always is working but what happens again is that sway that trailer's going too fast or vehicle wants to go around you so what you'll want to do is you'll want to take that little lever you'll want to squeeze it and then you'll let go you're going to feel the trailer pull you back because you are slowly just stopping so you're just trailer. engaging the brakes on the trailer alone not yours correct you're you not you're not putting your foot on the vehicle brakes at all so you're actually slowing just the trailer down okay if it stops it we're good we're ready to go keep mm -hmm. going down the highway if it doesn't take it squeeze it again it will only go to the output on what you have your gain set at it will not go up to 10 or 11 or 12 mm -hmm. or whatever the maximum output is for it unless you have it set that high okay all right, so we have our new happy campers here that gone through Adam, did a great job going through everything with them. Everything's safe, ready to hit the road. They have their hitching system hooked up. We've checked the brakes, we've checked the lights. They're going camping, folks. Let's go camping. Great. Adam, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Stephanie, you so much, thank you so much. Great. If you guys need anything at all, do not hesitate to call us. Awesome. Appreciate we will. It. Have fun, enjoy it. Thank, thank you, you so safe. much.